fellow alchemists, welcome back to our little bit of a deep dive series on some more elixir features. Now, I did get an interesting question about, you know, can we have some more tutorials say on some more uh, complex topics in elixir, and that's fine. Uh, one of them I think that's kind of overlooked and I also don't really use is uh, an elixir agent. Now, an agent is actually what I would say is a more slimmed down version of a gen server. An agent is, uh, is actually implemented using a gen server. And um, I'm going to show you how you can basically set up an agent, which can be just actually well, all an agent actually is, is it's just a uh, just something to store uh, state in memory. And uh, I'm going to use it as such as basically a uh, employee database. So we can uh, add employees to our little in-memory database. Of course, it's not going to survive uh, when our app crashes or when we turn it off. But just to keep, kind of give you an idea of how agents work and how we can actually use them for as some of a little bit of a cache. Um, you know what? Let's just go ahead. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to set this up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to actually add uh, an ID attribute to our employees. So if you ever notice when you go to a company, especially bigger ones, you do have somewhat of an employee ID so they can easily find you. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create uh, the employee database.ex file. And I'm going to create my own custom little agent. So it's going to be work app, employee database. And we're going to be using this as an agent, so we need to say use agent. The first thing we need to do is we need to have a start link function. We don't really care what gets passed in because what we're going to do is that we're going to use start link. And we're just going to um, pass in a function that returns, sorry, uh, an empty map. So I'm going to use the employee ID as kind of the key. And uh, what I wanted to actually talk about for a moment is the, the little bit of an interesting thing about agents is that they actually all use functions. Uh, I think it's a little bit strange, but uh, that's what they decided to use is that they're going to use functions. That's how you actually have to access everything. So that's why we have to pass in a function. We can't just pass in an empty map in the beginning. If you had a gen server, you could do that. But for agents, you have to pass in a function. So I'm going to pass in my function and it's going to return an empty map. And to make things easier for myself, I'm going to have it uh, use the module name as a name so I don't have to hold on to the PID. And now the first function I want to set up is list employees, which is similar to kind of how Ecto does things where they say list whatever, list users, list employees. So we can actually use like an in-memory uh, Ecto uh, kind of replacement. So this one's list employees. And in order to get that, we have to use git. And because we're using the name module over here, we can just use this. We don't need to keep track of the PID. And I'm just going to pass in uh, map.values. Because uh, what gets passed in is the state, which is going to be this initial one over here. So we just need to get the values. And because it's map, we just want to get the value itself because we're storing the, the key, basically. Uh, let me draw this out so it's not too difficult. Here is going to be, uh, sorry, let's do it like this. Employee ID will give you the actual employee himself, as we'll see in a moment. Now we can list all the employees out, but now what we're missing is the way to actually add an employee. We're just going to pass, of course, in the employee. And again, we need to use an update function module and then we just pass in the state of course the employee ID as I list over here is going to be the key and then of course the actual employee themselves we also need a remove employee 
and I'm just going to pass in the whole employee. A little bit like kind of how delete in Ecto is passing the whole object itself. So this will be agent update. So we're updating the state. This one is uh, delete. Pass in the state for the first one, and then the employee ID is the key. Pretty much rather straightforward. And then the last thing is that we can actually get an employee. Sorry, let's get the employee uh, by the employee ID. This one is rather straightforward, but instead of doing an update, we just do a git like we did before. Module. And we just call uh, git. Percent on. Sorry, and percent one. And uh, the employee ID. Just in case, I'm just going to wrap this so nothing gets a little bit strange. So uh, let us check it out. So I'm going to alias the work app employee, and also going to alias the work app employee database to make my life simple. Now for the employee database, we need to to start link so we can start it all up. Sorry, I'm going to pass in a pass in a whatever. It doesn't really matter. So now our employee database is running, and we can call our little APIs that we made up. So the employee database say give me all of my employees. Sorry, list employees. See, it's empty. So we can just add an employee. First, I need to create an employee. So let's just create an employee, and of course, I will create myself. So I have an ID of one because of course I'm number one, right? <laughs> and my first name, Ellen, last name, let's just use the company name, Plangora. There's my employee. Now what I can do is I can say uh, employee, sorry, employee database, add employee. We pass in our previous employee we just created. We get an okay back. We can make sure that they're actually in the database by saying uh, uh, list employees. There I am. We can also try to get that employee uh, by the employee ID. Works like a charm. We try to get an employee by a different ID, same as a map. We get a nil. That's fine. We can work around that in case we have to. And now we need to actually remove an employee. So let's check and make sure that actually works. Um, employee says okay, but let's double check to make sure. Just employees. There we go. So that's how we can use basically an in-memory little bit of a database or storage mechanism, a process to store some data, store it, store it into into memory. So this is Alan from Plangora. Uh, please leave me any questions you have. I'm more than happy to help out. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here is our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai, ke duk man all. Yo wenti, ji da wen.